22 people are dead and around 10 missing from the flooding in Middle Tennessee over the weekend. Search and rescue efforts are underway to find those not accounted for. Our Mary Frances Hoots joins us live now to explain what that process looks like. Mary Frances. Well, Cindy, it's the Hamilton County Jar Star's job to respond to search and rescue efforts much like this one. Now, they were placed on standby over the weekend, but never actually were dispatched. Now, Chief Clay Engel says that these searches can become very difficult because damages from the flooding begins to pile up, and then the responders have to sort through all that debris, and it provides an additional challenge in this heat today. From the ones who have lost their homes, who have lost loved ones, who have been displaced, uh, you know, it's it's a really devastating event. Uh, it happened very quickly. Historic records of rainfall put Humphreys County underwater quickly Saturday, 17 inches in less than 24 hours, leaving at least 21 dead and dozens missing. Rescuers have begun their mission to find everyone unaccounted for. Now that the water's dissipated, they've got a lot of debris fields they've got to search, collapsed houses, um, a lot of the debris that floats up in the rivers, it gets hung up, become entrapment entanglement areas. Chief of Hamilton County Stars Clay Engel says it's one of the worst disasters Tennessee has seen, and these searches can get tough. Find out where those persons were probably at when they became missing, and then search down from the area. Okay, if the water's going west, they search west. After disasters like these, Chief Engel says the people searching come across different biohazards and chemical hazards that make the job more challenging. And the mental side of what they see and hear can affect them. Two twins that disappeared, that's going to upset a lot of them. Even if they're not searching that area, that's weighing on the back of their mind. The American Red Cross and the Salvation Army from this area are the two groups that have been deployed to Middle Tennessee to assist those flood victims. So if you would like to donate to specifically to either one of those two organizations, we have links how you can do that inside this story. But if you would like to help the flood victims in general and don't know how, we have a list of ways you can help, donate, things like that. You can find all that information inside this story in our app and on our website. In Hamilton County, Mary Frances Hoots, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.